All right. <clears throat> We're going to start, even though we don't necessarily have everyone yet. Um, as more people come, I'll start letting them in from the waiting room. Welcome, everyone. We're going to make our own ice cream. Those of you who were at um, our winter camp that we did, you got to do this. It was a really fun activity that everybody liked, and they wanted the instructions so that they could do it at home. Um, what uh, We're going to basically do the same thing. So let's go through everything that you should have. You should have sandwich size Ziploc bags and good ones if possible. Like if you have the really cheap ones and then you have the really good ones, uh, double zipper, that kind of thing, those are better. You should have three of these. Then you should have two of the big gallon size Ziploc bag. Um, you're going to need some milk. If you have heavy cream, that's even better but uh, milk is good, whole milk is the best. And um, you need some sugar. I got more than we need here, so if anybody needs, let me know, I'll send it over. Um, <clears throat> yeah, just uh, get it out before it's done. You will need some salt. We don't put salt in the ice cream because that would make it taste horrible, but we need salt to make it into ice cream. <clears throat> Um, and some vanilla is good to have. I also have some sprinkles to put on either in or on afterwards. There were some other items I recommended. I don't have them in front of me, but you can have them if you want. You could have chocolate chips. And if you want to make chocolate ice cream, you can, um, you can have some chocolate syrup, like the kind that you add when you make chocolate milk or strawberry syrup. If you want to make strawberry ice cream or any other flavors of syrup that are made to add to milk, you can use those to flavor your ice cream. So let's get started. The first thing you want to do is take one of your Ziploc bags and open it and, and kind of, I'm going to tilt this down so you can see what's going on here. You kind of want to, want to put it down so that it, it flattens out a little bit and it stands up, stands up a little bit. You're, you're not going to keep it up by itself for very long. And, you need, before you start adding stuff, you need to decide right now what flavor of ice cream you're gonna be making. If you're gonna be making vanilla ice cream, then it's gonna be a different amount of sugar than if you're gonna be making chocolate or strawberry or something else with a syrup. So if you're gonna be making vanilla ice cream, you're going to put in two tablespoons of sugar. And you can use a soup spoon like I have, which is approximately a tablespoon, or if you have a measuring spoon that measures exactly tablespoons, you can use that. If you're gonna be making chocolate or strawberry or something else using a syrup, then you can put in two teaspoons of sugar, which is a little less than a tablespoon. It's like two thirds of a tablespoon. If you have a measuring spoon, you can use that. Or if you don't, you can use the smaller spoon from your silverware drawer and that will work just as well. Um, and what you're going to do right now is take that much and put it into the bag. I will do it now. So again, oh, we have somebody just joining us. <clears throat> All right, for the, uh, for the iPhone that just joined us, we have just gotten started. I, early, I only went through the ingredients and uh, what we're doing is, if you are making vanilla ice cream, then you're going to put one, two tablespoons of sugar into your Ziploc sandwich bag. If you are making one of the flavors using the syrups that we would make milk with, like chocolate milk or strawberry milk, one of those syrups, then what you're going to do instead is two teaspoons of sugar. And once you've done that, now we're going to add the vanilla. For the vanilla, vanilla is very strong and only requires a tiny bit. So we're going to put in a quarter of a teaspoon. Now for this, I actually have a measuring spoon. If you don't, does everybody have a measuring spoon? Give me a, those of you who are on video, give me a thumbs up if you have a quarter teaspoon measuring spoon. Thumbs up, thumbs up. Kesslers, thumbs up. No? Yes. Okay, there we are. You froze there for a second. All right. If you do not have a measuring spoon, you could take the little spoon from the, from the silverware drawer and just, just put 
a tiny bit so that it, it fills just the bottom of the spoon and that'll be about a quarter of a teaspoon. But right now, we're gonna do that. I'll point this back down towards my, uh, towards my bag here. And just to demonstrate that, instead of using my quarter teaspoon measure, I'm gonna use this spoon. Whoops, that was a little bit too much. Get rid of some. And then I will show you about that right there is about how much you're going to use when it's in a spoon and when it's in a spoon like that and pour that in. And now here's where it could start to get a little bit messy. Actually, before we, before we get to that, if you chose the chocolate or strawberry syrup or one of those, you could take that now and dump it in on top of the sugar. How much do you put in? This one is really hard to measure. Your parents should help you with this part. You should squirt in a little bit more than the amount you would put in if you were making a cup of chocolate milk. See, I never know that measurement. I always just take the bottle and I turn it upside down and I squeeze until it looks right. So you're gonna need to do that. And this is where parents helping might come in handy. So take that chocolate syrup or the strawberry syrup and turn it upside down over your bag and squeeze until it looks like it's about the right amount. And when it looks like it's about the right amount, squeeze just a little bit more in there and then you should be good. I'm gonna give you a moment to do that. Those of you who are not on video, I don't know whether you're done yet, whether you're, whether you're ready for the next step. So you can turn on your video um, or you can use the, the chat to give me a, a thumbs up or um, one of the reactions to give me a thumbs up when you're ready. For everybody else, when you are ready and you have the sugar, the vanilla, and whatever syrups you're putting in, let's see a thumbs up either on your screen or with your hands. And looking pretty good all around. So now we're gonna go to the next step. And for the next step, we need one cup of milk. Now, if you have the heavy cream, you could do half and half, half cream, half milk. You could do a full cup of cream, or you could do what I'm gonna do, which is take whole milk and one cup, and you're gonna make. Now, I'm gonna point my camera down again to just show you something very important. Before you pour that milk in, you need to hold the bag, because otherwise you will make a mess. And then you don't let go of the bag until it's closed and you're ready. You're going to be now holding on to this bag from this point forward until it's closed and ready to go. So pour in that milk. And then one last thing, if you had something extra, like some sprinkles, which I'm going to add into mine, or if you had um, some chocolate chips that you want to add, I'm going to just take these and sprinkle some in there. There's no specific measurement for that. The sprinkles will, uh, if you put them in in advance, you could put them in after. If you put them in in advance, it'll kind of, uh, they'll kind of melt in there a little bit and give you that birthday cake ice cream effect. <clears throat> or you can save them for later. Same thing with the chocolate chips. The chocolate chips are gonna, are gonna chocolatize the ice cream a little bit. And once you've done that, you wanna, here I'll, Point this down again so you can see what I'm doing here. You want to kind of push most of the air out of the bag and zip it shut. Now, <laughs> the stuff I'm going to tell you now is super important because this can mean the difference between totally ruining your ice cream and, and making it successful. <laughs> this needs to be closed really, really well. There can't be any milk escaping from this. Because if milk is escaping, other stuff can be getting in. And I mentioned at the beginning, we're gonna be using salt. And if the salt gets inside your ice cream, your ice cream is gonna taste horrible. So once you've zipped this shut, you're gonna take another one of the bags. I told you to have three. And take another one, put this one inside there, and then zip that bag shut. But before you put it inside, hand it off to your and have them just give it a little check to make sure, to make sure that the, 
that the bag is, was perfectly sealed before you put it in. All right, <clears throat> also before you close it all the way, the second one, you wanna also squeeze some of the air out so that it's not all puffed up with air. And then guess what we're gonna do with the third bag? It is so important to not have your ice cream taste disgusting. It is so important that we're gonna take the third bag, we're gonna put the second bag inside the third bag. So we have a triple layer of bags. And squeeze the air out and take that one and tighten it up all the way. Okay, <clears throat> now that you've done all three bags, and I'm gonna give you time to finish if you're not finished yet. Once you've done all three bags, you can let go. Nothing's spilling out of there, we hope. Just try to be gentle with it. And also make sure that all the air got squeezed out when you were putting it in. Get your parents to help, give it a quick double check and make sure that everything is sealed well. Because Abby, so, yes. I'm so sorry, we got kicked out and we had the one cup of um, uh, uh, whipping cream. I don't know. Okay. So not, not whipping cream, but heavy cream, like. Oh, heavy. Uh -huh. Okay, so after that, the only thing we did before we, the only thing we did before we hold the that you saw is if somebody wanted to throw in some sprinkles or throw in some chocolate chips, that was optional. We gave okay. them a chance to do that. And then we put, we sealed the bags, squeezed out as much of the air as possible, and tripled them up. Put the first bag inside the second bag, squeezed out the air, zipped it shut, put the second bag inside the third bag, squeezed out the air and zipped it shut. And once you've done that, you'll be all caught up with us. Okay, and it was just one cup of whipping, or what is it, heavy cream, right? Heavy cream or milk or a combination of the two, adding up to one cup. Okay. okay now, now we're gonna take our big bag. And in the big bag, you're going to put eight tablespoons of salt. Now the best is rock salt, which is made for making ice cream. Kosher salt is very close to rock salt, but even if you don't have kosher salt, any salt will do. And just because it's called kosher salt doesn't mean it's any more kosher than any other kind of salt. It just means that it's the kind of salt they use for in the process of making meat kosher. So, and that you can ask your local rabbi about. One of them happens to be on this uh, Zoom right now. There he is, Rabbi Freiberg, walking around in their kitchen. <clears throat> and I'm sure he'll be happy to explain it to you at some point, why mm -hmm. it's called kosher salt and what we use it for. But, oh, I don't know why I picked this up. You're gonna take the big bag, and you're gonna put eight tablespoons of that salt in there, which, <clears throat> for those of you who are good at math, eight tablespoons is the same as one half a cup. So you can either use a half cup measure, or you can use eight tablespoons and you're going to dump them all into this bag. I'm gonna give you a moment to do that and then we'll talk about what comes next. I think I see that the, the whites uh, popped out and then popped back in again. Did you guys miss anything or are you good? may even unmute you just so you can answer. White family, did you guys miss anything or are you good to go? You're good. I don't know, you're still muted. I'm not hearing you. All right, if you missed anything, we can catch you up later. I can catch you up later. Am I still? Okay. Any other questions before we continue? No. All right. So moving right along, you should have this bag with salt in it. And then you're going to put ice in the bag. Now this gets really noisy. So I pre-filled my bag. Let me grab it out of the freezer. All right. This is about how much ice you're going to put in your bag. I have just above about half. So, look at that. The Freibergs are prepared with a nice big pitcher of ice. 
and dump that into the bag. And then once you've done that, you're going to take your little bag that has a bag inside of it, which has a bag inside of it, which has all your ingredients inside. And you're going to put this into the bag with the ice. And then you're going to seal that up and ask your parents for help to make sure that the seal is tight and that nothing's going to leak out. Wow. And I'll bet you've already guessed what you're going to do with the second Ziploc bag. You're going to take the first bag and you're going to put it inside the second one because accidents do happen. Now, in the beginning, not all of you were here yet, but in the beginning, I recommended one extra item that you run to the bathroom and, well, if you need to run to the bathroom, you should do that anyway, but run to the bathroom and grab yourself a towel. Could be like a big bath towel. It should be, it should definitely be bigger than a little thin kitchen towel. Uh, other than that, uh, pretty much any size is good. Yes, just like that, that'll work. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna take the big bag, once it's been sealed and doubled up, you're gonna take it and you're gonna wrap the towel around it. And shake it. This is a pretty important step because you're gonna be holding this bag with the ice inside for about 20 minutes. It gets very uncomfortable, very uncomfortable against your fingers while you're holding the ice bag. So the bigger and fluffier the towel is that you have around it, and you may even decide to double up the towel, the bigger and fluffier the towel is that you have around it, the easier this is going to be. Because you're, you need to shake this bag for 20 minutes. Now, I have seen in the past, when it's too cold for some people, somebody got unmuted there. When it's too cold for some people, what they do is they hold the bag by the corners and they shake it like this. And you can do that, but, it's a good way for your bag to end up leaking or breaking. And so you don't really want to do that. So to review, we have all of our ingredients in the triple sandwich size bag. And in the big bag, we have ice and a half a cup of salt or eight tablespoons of salt, depending on how you measured it out. It's the same amount. The ice and the salt, yes, go inside that big bag together to answer Ahava's question. <laughs> The ice and the salt go inside that big bag together, along with the little triple bag. And then that whole thing gets sealed up and then doubled inside another big bag. And then you have to shake it for 20 minutes. So to help you do that, I am going to play a 20 minute countdown video for you with shaking music. Shake, Sinora, shake your body line. Shake, 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 Sinora, shake it all the time. Work, 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 Sinora, work your body line. Work, 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 Sinora, work it all the time. My girl's name is Sonora. I tell you, friends, I adore her. And when she dances, oh brother, she's a hurricane in all kinds of weather. Jump in the line, rock your body on time. Okay, I believe you jump in the line. Rock your body on time. Okay, I believe you jump in the line. Rock your body on time. Okay, I believe you jump in the line. Rock your body on time. Whoop. Shake, 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 Sinora, shake your body line. Whoop. Shake, 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 Sinora, shake it all the time. Work, 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 Sinora, work your body line. Work, 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 Sinora, work it all the time. You can talk about cha cha. Tango waltz or the rumba, Sinora's dance has no title. You jump in the saddle, hold on to the bridle. Jump in the line, rock your body and time. Okay, I believe you jump in the line, rock your body. Rock your body, child. Jump in the line, rock your body and time. Somebody help me. Jump in the line, rock your body and time. Oh. Shake, 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 Sinora, shake your body line. Shake, 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 Sinora, shake it all the time. Work, 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 Sinora, work your body line. Yes. 
work, work, work. Sinora, work it all the time. Sinora, she's a sensation, the reason for aviation. And fellas, you got to watch it. When she wind up, she bottom, she go like a rocket. Jump in the line, rock your body in time. Okay, I believe you. Jump in the line, rock your body in time. Heist those skirts a little higher. Jump in the line, rock your body in time. Off the chimney. Jump in the line, rock your body in time. Whoa. Shake, 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 Sinora. Shake your body line. Work, 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 Sinora. Work it all the time. Dance, 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 Sinora. Dance it all the time. Work, 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 Sinora. Work it all the time. Sinora dances Calypso. Left to right is the tempo. And when she gets the sensation, she go up in the air, come down in slow motion. Jump in the line, rock your body in time. Okay, I believe you. Jump in the line, rock your body in time. Oh, Somebody help me. Jump in the line, rock your body in time. Okay, I believe you. Jump in the line, rock your body in time. Shake, 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 Sinora. Take your body line. You're about a quarter of the way done. Shake it, 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 shake it
Into the crowded line, break down, take, take down, shake down, you bust it, bust it, shake down, break down, just about the time of the day, it's all right. Break down, take down, shake down, you bust it, shake down, break down, take down, everybody wants to the crowded line.
to do next. Okay, first, take a breath. You need to go to the sink and do this over the sink. You want to take your inner bag out of the big bag and wash it off to get all the salt off of it. Now, if it opened up and leaked all over the inside of the big bag, it's possible that salt got into your ice cream and your ice cream will taste disgusting, but now you know how to make another batch. But if all went well, and your three bags held up, you wash off the little bag, and then take the bag out of that, give that a wash just in case, until you are sure that no salt is going to get inside, you can open up your bag, take a spoon, you don't even need to waste a bowl, you can eat it right out of the bag. And uh, send me pictures of everybody eating their ice cream. Send it to the WhatsApp group, and we'll post them on the website. I hope you enjoyed. If you have any questions, you can WhatsApp me or give me a call. Have a great day, everybody. We're going to have more activities like this coming up. I will send out messages when they are going to happen. Enjoy your ice cream, everyone. Thank you. Enjoy Thank my you. milkshake. Thank you. Yeah. You're welcome. You're welcome. Thanks for coming. Thank you. You're welcome. I don't know. Thank you.